Hey everyone, Nut Free Mama here, and today I'm going to show you how to make Roly Poly Santas. Okay, let's start off with the ingredients. Our little elf Chippy is um, observing today. He decided he wanted to watch me bake, so he hid there. Um, when the kids woke up, they found him, so he gets to stay there all day. So let's start off um, with our ingredients. First, you're going to need one cup of butter, which is two sticks, a half a cup of sugar, one tablespoon of milk, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two and, a, two and one fourth cups of flour, then you need red food coloring. It did not specify that you needed the gel, so I'm just using the regular red food coloring. And then you need mini chocolate chips for the eyes. And then we are going to use, you can either use frosting for the nose, or I thought it would be fun, I'm going to use Sixlets. Um, you could use Hersheyettes, you could use whatever you want. And then um, you also need some white frosting, and you also need um, some kind of piping bag. So if you don't have one, you could just use um, a baggie and cut a hole in it. So the first thing we're going to do is preheat the oven to 325 and line a baking sheet with parchment paper. And then you want to go ahead and get out your electric mixer. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is beat our butter on high for 30 seconds. Okay, next we're going to add our half cup of sugar and just beat that until it's well combined. And you may have to scrape down the sides um, to do this. Okay, next we're going to add in our one teaspoon of vanilla extract and our one tablespoon of milk and just mix that again until it's well combined. Okay, that looks pretty good. So next we are going to go ahead and add in our flour and you want to do that in um, probably about three steps at least to add your two and a fourth cups of flour. However you want to do it, just um, add a little and then mix it and then continue. You can do that with the electric mixer and then um, you'll probably have to finish it up by hand. Okay, here is what your finished dough should look like. So next we're going to remove one cup of dough and set that aside. And then we're going to add red food coloring to the rest of it. Um, so just keep adding it until it's the color you would like. And make sure you mix it up well. Okay, if you want a little tip on how to mix the food coloring in without getting your hands crazy red, um, if you just put it in a big Ziploc bag and add the food coloring in there and then just kind of work it around with your hands until it is the right color that you want it to be. So now we are going to... Um, make one inch balls and five inch balls um, or sorry one one inch ball and five half inch balls from the red dough per Santa that you want to make and then from the plain dough we're going to make three fourth inch ball one three fourth inch ball and four one fourth inch balls so um, you're going to do that and then just attach them all together until it looks like a Santa Okay, so I have six of my little Santas um, ready to go into the oven. That did take a little while. Um, you just go ahead and put your eyes on. And, of course, you know the hat. You have to kind of shape like a hat if you want it to look like a hat. And you want to kind of push them all together, all their little parts, to make sure that they're going to stay together. So just um, do that while you're assembling them. Um, this is my first time making these, so we'll see um, if the sizes are right. I still have quite a bit of dough, so I can make um, a lot more than these six. I just wasn't sure um, exactly how big and little to make these according to the measurements. So we're going to go ahead and put these in the oven 12 to 15 minutes. Just be sure to check them. Okay, those just came out of the oven, and they just look really cute. We are going to let them cool for a couple minutes before we... Um, put them on a cooling rack and then we can icing on the face and the little red things are the mouth I think I said the nose but they more they look more like a mouth okay my second batch is ready to go into the oven uh, first <laughs> a few things I learned you really need to push the body parts together um, a couple of my Santas did lose an arm or leg and then I did have enough of the regular dough just to make some little pom-poms on the ends of the hats because I think that will be even cuter so I'm going to go ahead and put this second batch in. You should be able to make 12 cookies total. Okay, this second batch came out a lot better um, because I really smushed the pieces on. Um, but just to let you know, this cookie is not the best tasting cookie. You might want to roll them in sugar or um, just add a little more sugar to the recipe. But they are super cute and I'm happy with them. Let's have Taste Tester have a little taste. Okay, let's take this little guy over to Taste Tester and see what he thinks. Taste Tester! Do you like him? Mm-hmm. Okay, everyone come and see us again and have a Merry Christmas. Have a Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye.